Now more than half of Georgia third graders have tooth decay and about 20% haven't had the problem treated, but there may be a way to protect children's teeth for years to come using a dental sealant. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about these uh, dental sealants. Good morning. And good morning, Elise. And dental sealants are basically a thin plastic coating and it's painted on the chewing surfaces of children's back teeth. And it's designed to be kind of a barrier between the teeth and then food and bacteria that can get inside and cause cavities. But many kids, as Lee said, aren't getting dental sealants. And that's something that state health officials are trying to change. At Georgia State Perimeter College in DeKalb County, about two dozen kids are on a field trip with a mission. These are children that come from a local school. We have first, second, and third graders. And dental hygiene students here are coating the children's primary or baby molars with a painless protective coating known as a dental sealant. It's uh, plastic materials that we place on healthy teeth uh, to prevent dental decay. We tell them it's very much like painting fingernail polish on your fingernails because that's what we're doing. We're painting the tooth and sealing it with a light. For the last few years, the Georgia Department of Public Health school-based dental sealant program has been working to protect children from cavities, especially those in lower income communities considered at higher risk of tooth decay. The state now has 60 school-based sealant programs across nine districts. Cherie Rainwater, who heads up the dental hygiene program at Georgia State Perimeter, says children just like adults rely on their smile to connect with those around them. When children have decay, especially on those anterior teeth, those front teeth, they won't smile. They won't interact with other children. And CDC research shows the sealants work and could prevent up to 80% of cavities in school-aged children. But more than half of U.S. kids aren't getting treated. And that's something Georgia health officials are working to correct, sending their dental teams directly into schools to reach kids where they are. Rainwater says these treatments Treatments could pay off in the long term. A lot of children miss school because of decay and the, they go to the emergency rooms and so forth. So if we can do as much prevention as possible, then that's a good thing. And the school-based sealant programs can be especially helpful for children who live in rural areas and also those in lower income communities because they might not be able to get to a dentist very easily. But the CDC says 43% of elementary school age children have never even had a dental sealant. And the numbers drop even more when you look at those children in lower income and rural communities, at least. So this is, you know, kind of an issue that they're really trying to reverse, at least sure. here in the state of Georgia. Sure, yeah, it sounds like they can help out a lot, but how long do they actually last? So, you know, in the follow-up studies, at two to four years, they were working really well. They can work and last up to like nine or ten years, maybe even longer than that. So they can get kids through that growing phase, uh, you know, and really kind of get them protected before they become young adults. Now, is this a treatment, Beth, in which parents have to give their consent before it's yes, done? Yes, it's usually like one of these dental sealant uh, programs. Um, it's usually planned about a year ahead of time to go into a school, and then a few weeks ahead of time, they ask the parents to fill out a consent form. Okay. Okay. saying that they give permission for the kids to get dental sealants. But really, it's kind of a win-win because, you know, if you haven't been getting to the dentist like you really mm -hmm. should be getting your kid to the dentist, it is a way to protect your child. Yeah, preventative. All right. Yeah.